want to touch base with you on something that most people don't really think about, which has been going on for quite a long time, which is sewer sludge. Yeah, the stuff that you flush down the pipes goes to a city collection place. They can't do anything with it. They are basically giving this stuff away because they have no room for it, right? So back when Michelle Obama planted her little organic garden, because it was a big deal, they took the White House, she wanted to plant an organic garden, got great reviews, raves, blah, blah, blah. But did you know in about two months it was shut down by the National Park Service because it found to have too much lead in the soil? So basically the little organic garden went awry because some company back in the 80s was fertilizing lawn with sewer sludge. Now the city of San Francisco has been petitioned by um, a group, the Center for Food Safety, and they've petitioned the city to ban giving away the sewer sludge because in their studies they found that this stuff contains heavy metals, pharmaceuticals, PCBs, flame retardants, endocrine disrupt disruptors, and other toxic chemicals. The EPA even did a study back in 2009, January of 2009, that showed nearly all sludge contained 27 metals, 10 different retardants, 12 different pharmaceuticals, and a high level of endocrine disruptors. Now, I was out in the field one day talking to a guy, ran across him and said, hey, you know, um, how would you like to go organic? And he said, oh, well, I'm using sewer sludge. I said, well, you know, that's not organic. It has a lot of pharmaceuticals and other chemicals in it. He said, well, I don't care. It's free. But he doesn't mind giving all this stuff on it, putting it on his pastures, letting the cows graze on it, and then you eat that. All this stuff comes right back around, people. Know what you're eating. Be diligent. Boycott any kind of sewer sludge if you even hear about it. Thank you.